Okay, for the next few weeks, we'll be profiling local Olympians with a ticket to Tokyo. And tonight, we're introducing you to Cal grad Johnny Hooper. We met up with Hooper at the Water Polo Training Facility in Southern California. Not only are these games a first for the Water Polo Star, it's also a homecoming. As Raj Mathai tells us, Hooper spent time training overseas during the COVID shutdown. As the whole world kind of shut down, everyone had stopped playing. Um, and then when things started coming back in a little bit more, a lot of us signed professional contracts to go play overseas. Johnny Hooper played professionally in Greece while things here didn't fully reopen. Cal grad says learning different sports led him to water polo. Whether it was surfing, basketball, soccer, football, golf, you know, every sport, you learn all these different ways to be coordinated. You know, I'm living in the present. I want to win if it's a 12 and under championship. Okay, I want to win that. I want to win a high school division one championship. Okay, did that. I want to win a college division one national championship. Okay, did that. All right, what's the next thing? Let's go get a, a gold medal at the Olympics. Now it's six on five. Shot and a goal by number two, Johnny Hooper. This Olympics isn't just Hooper's Shot first, it's also it a in. homecoming. Hooper is half Japanese and a dual citizen. His mom, who's a Japanese citizen, hopes to watch him play in Tokyo along with someone else that's very special. It's my grandma, and uh, she's still out there. She's, you know, she's, she's pushing away. Uh, she's old, you know, I think is waiting for me to, to compete there. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do everything in my ability to make sure that I'm there and hopefully, hopefully win some hardware and be able to show her. Being able to go back and compete in, in Japan, you know, it's kind of a dream come true. So. Hooper can't wait to have his two biggest supporters cheering him on. In fact, his mother is with him everywhere he goes. Her name literally tattooed on the left side of his ribs. I got that in high school, so I was young. Um, and uh, she actually does, she doesn't like tattoos at all, but um, I figured, you know, she's my biggest fan and, you know, she's kind of my everything. See, my thought process, she can't be mad if she sees her, her name on my side. <laughs> <laughs> she, Good compromise. We are rooting for you.